Okay, I wanted to focus uh, our next video on some very basics uh, with respect to footwork, transference of weight and motion. Um, one of the most difficult things uh, to teach beginners is, is how to change the way that they move because the way that you move in the study and practice of arm azar is very different than the way that you'd move in your normal day-to-day -day activities. Uh, and this results in having to fundamentally alter people's perception as to how their bodies operate and move. One of the most important aspects is posture, a nice solid erect posture. So no slumping over in this manner, you want to be standing up you want the head stacked on the, on the spine, the spine uh, connected to the hips and then into the, into the legs and all of that mass going straight down into the ground. And this is how also we move because we want to have that weight directed straight down onto the balls of our feet. So if we want to move in any direction, we have to do so with transference of mass. Now a way to look at this or visualize it is you look at basically your legs as two vessels filled with fluid and to move you pour one into the other and shift that weight back and forth through the hips. So if I was to take a neutral stance, which we've looked at before, and want to move forward, the very first action in this is to start to flow that weight from the side that I'm going to move to the side that's going to remain stationary. So I start vesting my weight into the leg that isn't going to move, and that frees up the trailing leg, which allows me to shift and reachieve a neutral stance as the water pours or the fluid pours back into the other leg. So that motion is a floating uh, of that balance. And if you look at some other martial arts, they accentuate this with a gathering and stepping of the foot through the center. I think this is an artifact that's not required um, to, to achieve this at all. You can do it just with being conscious of that weight being vested. So again, if I was to move forward, I start moving forward and weight up that front leg. The trailing foot you can see is starting to get light and now I can choose to pick it up and put it down wherever I want. Because the weight is here, that allows me to choose in the absolute last instant where that foot is gonna go. I could go back to where I was, I could go to the side, I could go to the front, right? I could include it with a pivot and change my direction as well because the weight is vested in this foot that isn't moving, allows me 300, essentially 360 degree movement potential through the movement of the weight. What I never want to do is launch myself into the air in motion. I, I don't want to be pushing my weight, lifting it, I want to be transferring it because if I lift it and put it into orbit, I'm out of control of it until gravity brings me back down. So that's not the right way to move. You want to move through transference of weight and smooth. No lifting, 